Welcome back to Real Talk. I'm Alexandra. And I'm Jamie. And together we're your hosts for Real Talk, a program, a podcast where we're going to talk about the things you've been shying away from. We're going to have those discussions that are breaking the societal norms, um, those taboo con uh, conversations that we were told as children we weren't able to say. Uh, that's right. And we're not going to do it alone. We're going to do it with some special guests. And tonight we have an amazing, amazing podcast. Right, Jamie? Yeah, we do. We have some amazing t community leaders, business people, entrepreneurs, so that we can delve into that business, entrepreneur life, not just talking about things that we were told we couldn't talk about. That's right. So get ready for a, a hot moments, a great time, a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of laughter. You're going to meet amazing women. We have women only today on That's the That's right. The show. No men. So we're going to have oh, wait. a great time. We do have some men that are videoing us. Behind yeah, the behind scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind we the keep scenes. them behind the scenes. <laughs> she said that, not me. Wait, it's March. It's Women's Month. The men That's have to be right. behind the scenes and we're out in the front and that's right and I'm glad you brought that up we are in March it is all about the ladies and you know when it comes to flutterflies we're all about women empowerment so I am yep. extremely excited and we're shortly we're gonna start with two amazing guests there are two of our actually we're going to start with three honorees because I forget that my co-host <laughs> I was an honoree honored. oh and I'm gonna be honored this time too yeah that's I forgot. right you are a past honoree so let me fit, let me let me put everybody up to date. So we have Flutterflies has their eighth annual gala coming up March 23rd. And if you haven't purchased your tickets, please do so. Try to do that today because tickets are 125 with an open bar. You don't hear about these prices anymore. 125, but that ends soon. That's going to end March 3rd. So go out to flutterfliesmovement.com, get your ticket before the third, oh, by the third, because then they go up to 150, which still is a great price. You're going to have fun. You're going to feel like it's a big family reunion. You're going to meet some amazing honorees, and they're going to inspire you as they've done. They've inspired me, so I'm extremely excited. I can't wait. I'm telling you, it's going to be on the water, Captain Bill's. So we're leveling up each year. We level it up a little bit more, and it's at night, our first night gala. That's right. So very excited. everybody's going to get extremely nice. I've been looking for dresses. Do you I know what you're wearing? My, I have my dress already. What color? Can't tell you. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. She's <laughs> not going to tell me. Okay. So listen, let's talk about, so what's the best thing? Um, about a Flutterflies gala? You know what? It's the camaraderie. It's the feeling of, you know, I walk in the room and even the people I don't know, it's, you get to know them. And it's this sisterhood that we have um, amongst the honorees. We do things together. We enjoy each other. We have fun. And we get to celebrate each other. That's right, we do. We have a great time. Um, and I always tell people, it's like a family reunion. Even if someone, if you don't have anyone to go with, I've had ladies that have attended events solo. And what we do, we sit them at a table, they, they make friends. Absolutely. So I've had a lot of people come alone or come with another girlfriend and then they leave and they're like, oh, we can't get with this person and that person. So if, it, if it's networking that you're looking for or a friendship or you just want to have a blast because we're also going to be dancing. I was going to say there's the dancing. We like the dancing. Yes. And huge shout out to Latino Mix because they're they're bringing the DJ. They I, are going to bring it f f home for us with this one. Yes. I love when they're in the house. Yeah, so very, very excited. So I think I think it's time for us to introduce our first two guests. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Just saying. So we're going to start with two 2024 Flutterflies honorees. We are privileged to have Lady Combs and Tammy Brown. Welcome, ladies. Yay! Yay. Thank you for having us. <laughs> it is a pleasure. I'm going to start with Lady because she's the newbie on our program. <laughs> Tammy, we welcome you back. So, Lady, let's start with please introduce yourself first. Okay. Thank you for having me, and thank you for selecting me as an honoree. My name is Lady Combs. I work for Economic Opportunity Council of Suffolk, or UCO of Suffolk, as most people know as that. And I'm, I am the community-based initiative for the Brentwood Central Islip and North Bayshore area. Awesome. And she does an amazing job. If you guys don't know her, she 
doesn't do her nine to five. She goes out of her way to really help the community. And I'm not saying this just because you're here, <laughs> but that's one of the main reasons why you were chosen. So congratulations. Thank you. And I, I'm, so, I'm so happy to have her here. I know. And you know what? I had a blessing that they came to the legislature and they came with the dinosaur and they came with cupcakes. And I have to tell you, all the legislators afterwards were like, oh my God, that was so nice. Her and Nilda and John, John Frank. Yeah. Michael. Awesome. So she's really got a heart for everything. Beautiful. So, lady, what's one of the things that you love the most about your job? I get to talk to everybody awesome. and share resources. It's so nice to see people and they come to me and be like, oh, I'm in need of this or that. And it's like, I got you. And they're like, thank you so much. Or oh, just to listen. Some people, all they need, they, all they want is just somebody to listen to what they're going through. So I love my job. That's awesome. And you do amazing. You're, you're great at it. Um, I love, again, she goes out of her way to really help the community. It's not just my time is nine to five. This is what I'm supposed to do. And good luck. Mm -hmm. She really goes out of her way. So congratulations she once does. again. Thank you. So now, Miss Tammy Brown, back in the house. <laughs> Tammy, what have we been doing for the last couple of weeks? Oh, super, super focused. Uh, Fusion just came home from the, uh, excuse me, the Nationals. Uh, one of their guys won silver. And then, yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, what else? Oh, we made a walkout to, for one of the fighters from New York, and he actually fought at MSG, so we got to see keep fighting in the ring under the bright light to MSG, and he won, which was really cool. Wow. Um, and then also, like, all of our guys are fighting, right? Everyone's in the New York cha uh, Championship Tournament right now, which used to be the Golden Gloves, and now it's called the Ringmasters, and every week we're in a new round, and just watching them progress and go through each round is kind of amazing to see them just keep showing up, even though the fight's, like, every single week. It's crazy. And we have one of the fighters from Fusion is going to be um, competing, too, on Andre, our friend Andre Schuler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that. He's uh, taking yeah. another pro fight on Flex Fights, right? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Fighting for the title. Yeah. So, yeah. Tammy, for those that don't know you, tell us who Tammy is. Oh, man. I'm like an entrepreneur. I really don't have like a title, right? Like uh, sometimes you might see me shoot your photo. Sometimes I'm teaching you how to box. Other times I'm listening, understanding where a lot of people are coming from. We live in a life where people just need you to hear them out, understand that everyone's having something going on in their mind. And so I feel like I'm everywhere. I'm at boxing fights. I'm wrapping people's hands that I don't know. I'm cornering guys that like are like, wait a minute, you're the coach here? And I'm like, oh, I'm a head coach, just not yours, you know, so. <laughs> it's been a it's been a great moment for sure for everything that I do. So I really can't give you a base of like what I do. I just I'm just Tammy. <laughs> That's awesome. So Tammy, congratulations to you as well. You're one of our Flutterflies um, 2024 honorees. So congratulations. Oh my gosh! And you, I want you to know this is my first one. So this was going to mean oh, a lot to me, sweet. right? Nice. Like I always give out, um, you know, honorees and stuff uh, at my galas, but this is the first one I'm ever going to receive. And I was thinking about that this morning after we talked, and I was like, wow, like this, I'll never have my first one again. So thank you so Same. much for giving me my thank first you. one. Oh, wow! <laughs> you nice. know what? It's amazing. The synergy between the two of them without us even knowing it when we put them together. <laughs> yes. Both of them love to help people. They're both honorees this year. Yep. And it's just and we both match. You got right yeah, on. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> All right. We're not going to go into the color thing. So listen, people, please chime in. I said lady has red. Tammy has orange. I said lady has red and Tammy has red with an orange tinge. Dios mio, where are we here? Oh, Dios mio, linda, por favor, da con ella. So listen, uh, Flutterflies is all about sisterhood, about bound, bound, bounding. Well, how do you say it? Bonding. Bonding. Dios mio, bonding. Repeat after me. No, the bonding. Puerto Rican comes out, okay? <laughs> so listen, it's about empowerment, what does Flutterflies mean to you? You said it, sisterhood. It's Sister. the connection between women and the community. Beautiful. For sure. And not feeling like you're in competition, but you're bettering each mm. other. That's something that Amen. like we're Amen. missing in this world all the time. It's like, I'm not in a race. I'm just trying to just exist and do the right thing, you know? So Beautiful. that's great. Not the one up, but the push up. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And then, Jamie, you're also one of our honorees. <laughs> so you are, so 
how Jamie got selected, because people probably, she's part of the advisory board. She's a past honoree. <sighs> so she's part of our, two of our books. We have, Flutterflies has two books. She's a co-author in both. So all the co-authors had to vote who would get this um, honor. And Jamie was the one selected. So congratulations. Thank you. And it's a great honor because you know what? It's, I have this sisterhood, not only within Flutterflies, but we have these women that have put their souls out there, um, showed everyone how they can overcome obstacles, and it's in the book. It is available on Amazon, yes. uh, both books. And it's great because we all really have bonded together, and you get to know someone in depth by the book. Absolutely. So like just like Jamie said, you can um, purchase your copy on Amazon. If you haven't gotten your ticket to the gala, FlutterfliesMovement.com, please. It's right behind me, so there's no excuse. And you can also follow us on, on Facebook and get all the information there. So ladies, I am honored once again for for you um, saying yes to the recognition, right? Number one. Instead of yes to the dress, you said yes to the recognition. <laughs> so let's end this on a let's end this block on a on a funny, a fun note. So what would be your one of your pet peeves? Uh oh. Can I go? Yes. <laughs> hey. Yes. Hey. When people do not use their signals. It drives me okay. nuts. <laughs> That's true. Road rage here. No, I really do. My husband says I do. <laughs> How about you, Tammy? Um, I think uh, setting me up to think that things are one way and then be another way is one of my pet peeves. I feel like if you're just completely honest with me, I can handle a lot. But so someone you... that is fake, basically. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you would call them fake. and I think in their mind, they're keeping it real. <laughs> like, but really? they're just not. <laughs> How about you, Jamie? I think I'm I'm with Tammy. I'm really tired of fake people. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, I'm definitely yeah, tired of I'm it. I'm done. I'm done. I stick me with a fork. I'm just done. And we could definitely have like a whole show just just on, on that. fake people, so phony balonies. I'm gonna share <laughs> one of my pet peeves. I actually wrote some down because I was like, I have a lot. <laughs> but she the does. top one is people that drag their feet. Uh, you know, when you walk and you're like, what the oh hell? Oh, my God, I'm people. No, I'm <laughs> Tammy, girl, when you get up, you better pick up those feet. It's also the fighter in me because, right, you move and you, you're dragging your feet. So the fighter no. in me always drags no. their feet. No, no. No. <laughs> no. Especially with heels. I can't walk that well. My like, mom drags her feet all the time and I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh my goodness. But ladies, thank you so much. Um, I look forward to celebrating you with you. Actually, we're going to be celebrating at the meet and greet on March 12th at Fogo de Chao. So if you guys want to join us as, there as well, you're more than welcome. Ladies, congratulations, and we'll see you soon. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. La que más suena en todos los bloques. Latino Mix. Latino Mix. Latino Mix. Pa' que no te equivoques. Welcome back. It is Women's Month, and we have some amazing women with us. Today, we have Susie Padro. Susie, can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Thank you so much for having me, guys. I love that you're doing a Women's Empowerment Month episode. I am Susie Padro, branch manager of the Own It team with Nationwide Mortgage. I specialize in residential home lending, and I am also the current president for NARAP Long Island. Uh, for our Long Island chapter, and among that, I'm also part of the Latina Business Network. Susie does a lot, yeah. Alexandra. She does. <laughs> I'm so excited that she's here because I was um, I had the privilege of meeting you just recently in December, around right before we did our um, Coquito contest, and then we had um, the Cookies with Santa, Santa, which she did an amazing job with. Yes, um, so did. welcome. Thank you so much. You guys do so much for the community. Both of those events that Jamie introduced me to, they were wonderful, and I loved how everybody came together. Awesome. You know Thank what's you. great about Susie is that you, you bring something up to her about the community, and Susie's there. When I first talked about the Hispanic Advisor Board for the town of Brookhaven, we do our um, event every year, uh, usually in like the beginning of October. And I told Susie and the board about it, and Susie and the board were like, okay, what do we need? Let's go. And almost the whole board was there. Yeah. 
Okay. So, and even Alexander was there too. It was like all of my different worlds all collided that night. It was amazing. That's awesome. So Susie, tell us a little bit more about your, all the success that you've had, because I see that you are a powerhouse of a lady. Thank you. You know, what's really funny is it's that I never think about it that way. I just focus on educating, bringing value, helping where I can. And it just happens to be that success follows it. It's never what I'm seeking. You know what it is? I always feel when you do things with um, with the right intentions, with good intentions, things always, always work out. What do you think, Jamie? I agree. When you do it with the intention of helping others, um, I, I, everyone knows I'm a big believer in God, and I believe that God definitely um, paves the way for success that way because you are helping others. You're putting others first instead of yourself. Absolutely. And like Jamie said, we are celebrating Women's Month. It's all about the ladies. And if you guys follow Flutterflies, you know it's all about women empowerment. This month we are celebrating our eighth annual gala. So it's been eight years. Hard to believe, honestly, because I believe it. it only started as let me do a one time event, bring the ladies together. And now eight years later, um, many, many events down uh, on <laughs> below our belts and two books. And I'm going to share something with you, ladies, with everyone tuning in, because I know the gentlemen also listen to our show. We're looking at book number three. So if you have a, to a story to tell, a story that is going to inspire others, not just the ladies, but inspire a community, be sure to reach out because we would love to have a conversation. So Susie, what does sisterhood mean to you? You know what, like uh, I come from a family of three girls. So sisterhood to me is you always have each other's back. You're always each other's cheerleader. And when you can't rise to the challenge, you're there to support. Awesome. So you, you have two other sisters? Yeah, I have two sisters. So I have two sisters as well. Are you the... I'm the oldest. Ah, yo también. <laughs> so this is why we get along. Do you like to boss everybody around? Yes, she does. I'm now, everybody a little bit. She does. If you she talk does. to my sisters, they would tell you yes, that they, they were bullied as children. It's not just the sisters, it's everybody. <laughs> but they're my Flutterfly sisters, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> But that's okay. We love her because she bosses us around. So, Susie, what's what's coming up? What's exciting? I know you're involved in a lot of organizations, yes. so tell us a little bit what's coming up. So, for this summer, um, when it comes to community stuff, I'm also part of the Leukemia Lymphoma Visionaries Challenge, and that's taking place um, later this spring as well. We look to uh, raise funds towards leukemia lymphoma, mainly focused towards childhood uh, leukemia because it's so it's kind of a sickness that kids get treated a lot with adult medication right so there's not enough money a lot enough research in that area that's one of the things I'm doing this uh, this spring we also have the NARAP event we have our next event coming up May 7th that I, I don't want to talk too much but it's going to be a wonderful event and we'll start putting out the information to save the dates and for March we also are doing an event with uh, Latina Business Network, which is also a women's panel. Um, we're going to have a lot of influential uh, females in different industries awesome. just showcasing their work and supporting one another. Beautiful, beautiful. So, so Susie, we love that you, you were able to come out and join us. Um, Jamie, you wanted to say something? Yeah, you know what? Susie's a mom. She's a daughter first, a sister, a wife. She has children. And she's everywhere. Susie is like, it, this, this morning I missed her, her show she did about um, investing in getting the fund, funding for um, what Airbnb. is it? Airbnbs. Yeah. So she does everything. She even owns Airbnbs. Yeah. So oh. it's, she's so inspiring. And she's so young. And I look at her and I go, oh, I want to be her when I grow up. <laughs> so that's very interesting. We would love to have you come and maybe do a presentation for our community, Absolutely. get people involved, and maybe go into real estate and all that great stuff. I love edu educating, and a lot of times people don't realize that it doesn't take what they think it takes, right, to get into a home. And especially for Latino families, they don't have someone that speaks the language or they don't have the right guidance. So that's what I love. That's like my passion. 
Awesome. But Susie, thank you again. Thank we you. hope to see you soon. And hopefully you'll get to celebrate with us at one of the upcoming Flutterflies events. And please do not go away. We'll be right back. Detonando en todas las zonas. Latino Mix. Latino Mix. La verdadera patrona. Dale play a tu bocina. Welcome back to Real Talk. Y ahora vamos a cambiar la lengua un poquito. Vamos a hablar español porque tenemos dos bellas mujeres de la comunidad. Tenemos a Yesenia, una gran amiga, y también a Nidia. Bienvenidas. Muchas gracias, Alexandra. Un gusto de tenerlas a ambas. Vamos a empezar con Yesenia. Porque a uh -oh. Yesenia la conozco. Yo estaba pensando en esto y nosotros nos conocemos ya varios años. Hola, Alexandra. Buenas tardes. Eh, sí, quizás aproximadamente en el 2008. No, uh -huh. no, 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 no tantos años. Somos jóvenes todavía. Oh, sí, 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 claro. <risa> Recién pues, nomás. Súper. So, Yesenia, cuéntanos un poquito. ¿Quién es Yesenia? Wow. Imagínate, para contarte más de 50 años, ahora estoy trabajando, cada vez voy con diferentes etapas, empecé con lo de pintar caritas, hacer reír los niños como payasita, que fue algo suma, sumamente eh, lleno espiritualmente, me llenó de muchas características, me llevó a conocer a la comunidad. Exacto. Agradecidas también, porque si, no te, si tú no me hubieras conocido, tú me dices una puerta a mí. Conocer a Alexandra Vélez... Fue una etapa muy buena, fue un, oh, unos años bellos que pasamos en la comunidad, vino el COVID y empezamos, pero superamos esto. Claro. Este día, pues ya el tiempo pasa y estoy trabajando ahora diferentes. Estoy trabajando con una cadena de abogados de habla hispana, un abogado que nació en Brengo, se crió en Brengo y estudió en Brengo. El abogado Denis Carrión. Y aquí les traigo, miren. <risa> bueno, Dennis estuvo con nosotros la semana pasada que tuve una entrevista con él. Lo gozamos, la pasamos súper bien. So, este, sé que están haciendo mucho en la comunidad. So, cuéntanos qué hay de nuevo en la comunidad con, con Dennis. Van a hacer algo especial. Yo sé que estás en todas partes ahora. Sí, tratamos la manera de... Queremos y tratamos la manera de estar donde más nos necesitan. Porque Dennis nació para servir, no para competir. Así Nuestro es. lema es que siempre vamos a servir. Usted puede llamarnos porque nosotros tenemos cinco por uno, cinco pasos fáciles cuando usted tiene un accidente. Nadie sale con deseo de tener un accidente. Entonces, cuando nos pasa eso, por cualquier índole, usted puede llamar. ¿Cuáles son los pasos que tiene que seguir? Por favor, siempre llame al 911 o vaya a su médico primario. Por favor, paso número dos. Tome foto, tome video. Nosotros tenemos ahora teléfonos que tienen la tecnología, hora, fecha y todo. Busque una persona que pueda ser capaz de decirle, sí, yo estuve en ese accidente. Número cinco, no llame a su seguro, llame a los expertos, a un abogado de confianza, a un abogado que le hable su idioma. Así Recuerde es. el 212 Carrión. No ah, pues estamos. mira, estás como él, porque él con la E. <risa> <risa> eh, Me encanta. Ya sí, es verdad. Y no es de la competencia, es servir la comunidad y a esos que necesiten una ayuda, ¿verdad? Gracias, Jessy. Y ahora vamos a pasar a Nidia. Nidia, cuéntanos que yo te conocí como distribuyendo Royal Prestige, pero ahora estás haciendo algo nuevo. Cuéntanos un poquito. Ok, claro, con gusto. Bueno, yo continúo igual como distribuidora de Royal Prestige, pero a la par estoy eh, llevando adelante un proyecto musical, algún sueño que de pronto quizás rondaba en mi mente desde hace algún tiempo, y lo empecé hace prácticamente seis meses. Okay. Eh, eh, fue inicialmente un proyecto como familiar, quería yo como dejar un legado de familia, dejando una canción para cada uno de mis parientes, ¿no? Pero ya después me di, dando cuenta que me fui dando cuenta que puedo llegar a muchas mentes y muchos corazones, entonces nació este proyecto musical que ya está muy maduro, estamos creciendo yeah. en audiencia, en contenido. Tengo ya mi canal de YouTube donde me pueden encontrar como arroba @nidiacetina. Y ahí pueden gozarse eh, ya en este momento ocho canciones, pero ya tengo en producción otras más que vienen en camino y que sé que les van a encantar. 
Súper. So, tenemos, Jamie, dos mm -hmm. mujeres que están Super. haciendo cosas increíbles. Increíbles, increíbles. Qué gusto a ver a uh, cómo ustedes han avanzado y están haciendo tus proyectos en una manera bien súper, uh, uh, um, ¿cómo se dice? Un, apoyando a otras, abriendo puertas, rompiendo los, los, los techos de vídeo para que ustedes están bien dando la... la ¿Cómo es? Ellos están dando lo máximo para poder empoderar sí. a otras mujeres. Y eso es lo que eh, me encanta. Exacto. Porque con Jesse y con Nidia, yo sé que no es, mira lo que estoy haciendo, quédate ahí atrás. Porque a veces, uh -huh. vamos a hablar claro, ¿verdad? A veces con las mujeres, somos amigas porque estamos en el mismo círculo, estamos en el mismo nivel. Pero tan pronto una eche un paso más adelante, hay algunas mujeres, no todas, y estoy de gracias a Dios uh -huh. que las que están aquí no son así, uh -huh. pero como que ya... No podemos hacer la amiga. Ahí empiezan las peleas, los chismes, las pendejadas. Y me encanta que ustedes no son así. Pero ustedes están de acuerdo que a veces hay personas, porque también los caballeros son así, medio. Me te tienen que quedar a mi nivel, <risas> si no, no somos amigos. ¿Qué piensan ustedes de eso? Um. <risas> no, lo que pasa es que cuando nosotros empecemos a trabajar en la comunidad, en equipo, a mí me encantan los, los equipos de soccer, de fútbol, porque pelean por algo y tienen un objetivo. Y cuando tú estás peleando por un objetivo, vamos creciendo. Si tú creces, yo voy a crecer porque somos un equipo. Exacto. Cuando el equipo de fútbol pierde, decimos, todos perdemos. Entonces, como yo digo, si ganamos, usted, si usted está mejor, si mi jefe está mejor, si mi hija está mejor, yo también voy a estar mejor. Claro. Entonces, por eso yo siempre le digo, nacemos para servir no para competir. Ay, me encanta. Vámonos. Me encanta eso. Y eso indica mucho de cómo eres de una persona. Y tu hija, me encanta. Porque usted ha empoderado a su hija en una manera que muchos, muchas personas no le hagan así. Eh, es que estamos hablando lo mismo. Siempre estábamos hablando con alguien de, de, de las escuelas que tenemos que unirnos. Cuando la comunidad esté unida, escuelas, maestros, comunidad y padres de familia, somos un éxito. Así eh, es. Que, ese es el objetivo de nosotros, de las mujeres que estamos empoderando otra mujer. Así es. Bueno, chicas, hay un gran evento. Si no han escuchado, el día 23 de marzo. O sea, es nuestro octavo evento de Flutterflies. Yo sé que ambas van a estar ahí. Siempre hemos estado. Sí, claro, claro que sí. sí. Es. Somos leales. Gracias. <risa> pues cuéntanos de un evento que ustedes... ¿Cuál es el evento que le han gustado más de, de Flutterflies? ¿Cuál es su favorito? Bueno, a mí quizás uno de los favoritos es al que hicimos en Country Club. Creo que fue en el año de 2011, si no me equivoco, porque oh. mi fecha es así, en junio del 2011, si lo tengo. Ay. Fue un evento que estuvimos, fue Zumba, estuvimos ah. con muchas personas que ahora ya no están, pero las recordamos. Entonces, siempre trae, todos los eventos traen algo bueno. Y Gracias. yo veo lo mejor que hay. Entonces, cada vez vamos superando. Vamos mejor, diferentes personas, y estamos unidas, conocemos, porque de eso se trata, de que trabajemos juntas, de unirnos, de, dar, de darnos el número. Así es. Y tú sabes lo que me encanta de Jessy, que ella dice, nosotros, nuestro evento. I love that, porque eso se, se sabe que ella es parte de nuestra familia de Flutterflies. Eh, exacto. Me uh -huh. encanta. Nidia, sí. yo sé que esto ha estado en tantos eventos de Flutterflies. Cuéntanos de uno que ha ido y que te gustó, un recuerdo bonito que tengas. Pues la verdad, he disfrutado muchos eventos al lado tuyo. Eh, sabes que me encanta ser patrocinadora y poner Gracias. un granito de arena para que sea un éxito. Pues más adelante quizás con mis canciones le pongamos otro ah, saborcito ya. diferente, es ¿cierto? Y también pues como emprendedora que soy en la parte de mercadeo, pues obviamente me encanta el evento que tú haces de negocios, ¿no? Gracias. Porque es la manera de conectarnos, tenemos que fortalecernos también comercialmente y esos eventos pues ayudan a que nuestra carrera cartera de clientes crezca, a que tengamos más interacción unos con otros, a que logremos como eh, fortalecer esos lazos de unión entre emprendedores para poder hacer proyectos más grandes y también cómo administrar mejor los recursos, porque yo hablaba mucho con Jesse y eso es lo que nos ha conectado y hemos estado compartiendo y es lindo la solidaridad, lo que es, hablaban sí, ustedes es. hace un ratico, no se trata de pelear, se trata de pronto sí de competir, yo no digo que la competencia es mala, 
se puede competir, pero con calidad. O sea, Así que eso es. nos lleve a mejorar los índices, ¿cierto? De servicio, de, 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 de mejores cosas para nuestros clientes, para nuestros eh, competidores. También es un reto seguir creciendo, seguir innovando, seguir adaptándose a, a nuevos cambios que cada día se vienen gestando. Así es. Entonces, eh, eso me encanta, ese tipo de eventos, la verdad, estar ahí es muy enriquecedor. Ah, gracias, gracias, Nidia. Bueno, chicas, gracias por estar aquí, pero antes de dejar el, de dejarlas, cuéntanos cómo se pueden conectar con ustedes, el público, cómo se puede conectar. Bueno, ustedes saben que conmigo <risa> es muy, pero muy fácil. Ustedes van a, a tomar el 212 Carrión. No necesita mucho. 212 Carrión. Sus abogados de accidentes Carrión. 212 Carrión. Gracias, Jesse. En mi caso, para lo relacionado con la música, en arroba Nidia Cetina, mi canal de YouTube, ahí también me pueden escribir, también en Facebook, como Nidia Cetina, con una florecita roja, siempre aparezco para que fácil les quede identificarme. Y en cuanto a lo que es el tema de Royal Prestige, la verdad que estoy para servirles con calidad, con cumplimiento, con honestidad, muy eh, eh, diferente el trabajo que hacen de pronto algunos compañeros que no quiero citar en, muy a fondo, pero trabajo muy diferente. La verdad, llevo 12 años ya con la compañía y principalmente me encanta servir a los clientes. Sea que me hayan comprado o no me hayan comprado, pueden contar conmigo. Súper. Muchísimas gracias a ambas. Dígame. Antes de, de, de retirarnos, una pregunta. Para la fiesta de gala, los tickets, ¿cómo los obtenemos? ¿Tenemos paquetes? Oh, claro sponsor, que dime, sí. Porque... Buen pregunta, porque ya mismo se suben. Es que no sí. compran ya. Mira, salió, salió. El, salió. El, el, ah, ah, mira. Mira. Bueno, ah, está, está. la gala ya es el martes. marzo 23 en Captain Bills. Pueden mm. obtener sus taquillas ya en flutterfliesmovement.com. Este, las taquillas están a 125 hasta el día 3 de marzo y luego suben a 150 o compren su taquilla ya. Si quieren hacer un sponsor, también los paquetes, me pueden llamar a 631-877-7915. Y también sí, es al verdad, 212 no. Carrión. Ah. Pero si sí es verdad <risa> o no es verdad. Cada sponsor de Flutterflies siguen adelante y están haciendo más éxito. Claro que sí, porque nosotros hacemos lo que tenemos que hacer. No es solamente venir al evento y nos vemos. That's it. Es un partnership que nosotros queremos hacer con, el, con nuestros um, negocios y todo el público. Mi gente, no se me vayan, ya regresamos. Transpórtate a otra dimensión con Latino Mix. Latino Mix. Dale play a tu bocina. Welcome back. We have some amazing women, our sisters in Flutterflies, That's Alexandra. Right. Very, very excited to have Shirley with us and Miss Pilar, better known as Patita Caliente. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Miss Pilar. <laughs> Hector says Miss Pilar, Reina Pilar. <laughs> Welcome, ladies. How are Thank you? you? Great. Good. Thank very you. Good. Thank you for having us here. Yes, likewise. It is a pleasure, and it, this is so nice. I have three of my advisory board members now. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what Butterflies it's all about. in the house. In the house. <laughs> so let's start with Shirley. Okay. Shirley, tell us a little bit about who is Shirley. Uh, Shirley Singletary <clears throat> Hudson is a transplant from Mississippi uh, who lives here in New York, who is a business coach for women of color entrepreneurs, as well as an inspirational speaker And just like you said, I am a Flutterflies Advisory Board member. That's right. <laughs> and you're chair of? Oh, and I am chair of the Entrepreneurship Committee of Flutterflies. That's right. Thank, Thank you, you, Shirley. And Shirley, so we were talking in the last segment that I, how long I've known um, Jesenia. I've known you longer oh, really? than Jesenia because we used to do with um, Desmond. That's right. Um, the travel. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, let's leave it at that. I'm not going to give them a plug. I'm That's not going right. to give them a plug. So we know each other for, yeah, for quite long, some yeah, time. Quite some time. It has yeah. been, right? That's, That's right. a good thing. It is. <laughs> thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having Full me. Full circle. <laughs> so, Pilar, ¿quién es Pilar Delgado? <clears throat> let's see. I'm well known in the Spanish community. I started out volunteering for La Unión Hispánica, and I knew then that I had gotten the bug to empower people and help them. 
and whatever needs they had. Um, <clears throat> I continued with joining different boards. I was on the board of La Unión Hispánica. I was on the board of, of uh, Long Island Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, which I still am a member of. Um, and then Adelante, I was on the board for 15 years until I became their, um, <clears throat> their executive director for quite a few years. And then the pandemic hit. That's right. And we had to close our doors. That, at that point in time, I felt defeated. And I said, I'm not going to give up. Mm-hmm. And then Butterflies came into the picture. And here I am, oh, still awesome. involved and very much <clears throat> committed to the Spanish community. Beautiful. Because I feel that they need me, and I need them for that matter. That's right. So, Pilar, it's funny how we met. Yes. Because you were given <laughs> heads up about who Alexandra is or how she she be acting and Uh-oh. shit. <laughs> but... Let me let me let me wait, let's, wait, let's wait, get wait, it straight. We're gonna Listen, get this. Uh oh. I know that I can look unapproachable. I know that. It's my face. Listen, okay. I cannot hide the way I feel. <laughs> I no, admit she cannot. that. I admit that. However, for those that are daring and dareful, <laughs> if you go beyond <clears throat> that, you'll actually see that I'm a really cool person. Yeah, you Like, are. I don't, you know, I could be a little hard-headed at times, you know, well, I'll tell it how at it is times? at times. <laughs> but overall, I'm a really, I'm a nice person. Sure. I, I, I'm going to give myself props That's because true. I know yes. I am. No, so you are. it's funny, and I'm glad <clears throat> that you just didn't go ahead with what that person said. And now, look, we're yeah. friends. We've been friends for quite some time. Yes, we're like family. You're absolutely right. And it's funny that you say that because you said you um, you have the same birthday as my mom. Yes, I think it's a day apart. Yes, day apart, we're actually. A day apart. Yeah. Um, my husband has the same birthday as your mom. That's right. That's right. Yes. So, life has has a way of putting people <clears throat> in your path that are meant to be there. Absolutely. Yeah. So, ladies, Flutterflies. Flutterflies is all about women's <clears throat> empowerment. We're in March, um, the month of women's history. Yes. It is all about the ladies. Yeah. So, you're both part of Flutterflies. Mm-hmm. So, I think Pilar has, from three, the three of you, I think Pilar has been on the board, uh, the advisory board for a little bit longer. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, have you seen changes in Flutterflies? How, or we're still at the same place when you started? Oh, no. No. I've seen a lot of growth. I've seen a lot of people making commitments to the organization, wanting to be a part of the organization. Um, <clears throat> it's a different game plan now. Um, the pandemic has somewhat passed, and people want to become involved and part of. That's right. You know, um, <clears throat> Oh, let me know when their next meeting is, or let me know when their next event is, and so on and so forth. And and I think we have definitely grown from that point in time of seven years ago or eight years We're ago. We're going into our eight. eighth eighth <clears throat> year. It'll be eight. In, in well, this month we're turning yeah, eight. We're eight. turning eight. So we're so it, we have a birthday blessed. coming up. Yes. and um, definitely it's. I missed your first luncheon. Okay. And I remember someone approaching me, and she says, you didn't go to the luncheon? And I go, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad that you're here now yes, and that you're yes. part of the board. Right. And um, <clears throat> I love that, you know, everything that you bring to the table. Thank so thank you. you. Thank you. So, Shirley, you're involved in, you wear many, many hats. Yes. And one of the hats that we're <laughs> going to talk about now is the new role that you are you have now with Flutterflies with the entrepreneurship program. Mm-hmm. So, when are we launching and what can people expect? Well, we did have a launch date, but I have to discuss that with you. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go again. But, um, you know, we're very, very excited to really uh, begin to capsulize the entrepreneurship program. And really, we're calling it an entrepreneurship series yes. where women at different levels in their journey of owning their own business will have the opportunity to choose what courses they may need 
at that particular time. In addition with that, we do have a whole series that someone would be able to go through the whole series. Mm -hmm. So we're really, really excited about it. We've been discussing mm -hmm. of where we would do it. If it will be a traveling uh, entrepreneurship series or we would just have that location. Yes. So we're really, really excited about it. We're looking to do our beta testing. Um, you know, we have to test it to see how it goes over with our female entrepreneurs. Right. And we're really, really looking, um, you know, to diversify our instructors. Uh, but as well as for our membership of Flutterflies to really participate where we can offer them the benefits of their membership. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. So Flutterflies is all about empowering the ladies, it's all about sisterhood. So what advice can you give for maybe a woman that is um, facing challenges, is looking for a friend, is looking to get empowered, to grow a business, or you know, just to get be more social? What advice can you give them? We'll go with Pilar first. <clears throat> go on social media, see when our next event is. Oh, I like that. Very good. <laughs> you know, uh, that's what it's all about, going on social media. Um, <clears throat> even if you can't do an event or pay for a ticket for an event, give us a call. We might be able to do something for you. That's so true, Pilar. People don't know. So Fl Flutterflies is a for-profit organization. Right. However, we give at every <clears throat> gal event, we give anywhere between five to 15 tickets free yes. to the community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people don't know that they see, you know, for profit. And sometimes we, we get the pushback because of that. But we do so much for our community. So thank you for bringing that up. No, and I mean, that's that's what it's all about. Absolutely. And there are times when people buy tables <coughs> and like I've bought a table and had an extra ticket. And I've said, you know what, Alexandra, yes. who do we need? Who needs a ticket? And someone like our OG over here, our Pilar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> she is Queen Pilar. She <laughs> inspires all of us to do those things. Yes. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Um, I happened to go to uh, a meeting at the library, um, Mujeres Latinas, mm -hmm. and I met two women there, and they kept telling me that their English wasn't that good. I said, that's all right. I speak Spanish. I'm bilingual. That's perfectly all right. And one of them was telling me how tr the trials and tribulations that she went through in this country with her husband. Um, <clears throat> she said, I've lost my husband. He passed away a few years ago. And um, it, was, it was sad on one point and a blessing on the other side because then I learned how to drive. Um, I learned how to go to the store by myself and do grocery shopping. Um, it, it was just amazing. So she's one of the ones I'm going to invite to the beautiful to our gala. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you, Pilar. You're very welcome. So, Shirley, same question. Any mm -hmm. lady that needs to get empowered, what advice would you give them? Work through your fear. Love one. it. Uh, the second is definitely what Pilar said, is to network. Mm -hmm. And Flutterflies is a great place to begin. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And even though we're having our event on March 23rd, uh, we are having a Women's Expo. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know, March 29th. That's correct. And where we are, there's an opportunity for our women uh, business owners to really showcase your products or services. So that's another way to meet others. I think the third thing is just, you know, get out there. Have some fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all about having yeah. that fun. Yeah. Have some fun with yeah, have some fun with yes. new people. You know, get out there and you know, tell what you're doing and that fear will dissipate. Okay. I'm glad that she brought up about the uh, Women's Expo. In the Women's Expo, we're gonna have Real Talk is gonna have a table there. Yeah. And we're gonna have Latino mix there and we're gonna be helping other entrepreneurs promote their businesses. So not only talking about that fear, working through that fear, mm -hmm. this was a fear of mine. <laughs> when she said, let's do this, I said, uh, uh, okay, I'll follow you because I don't know what I'm doing here. Look at you now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. comfortable. Matter of fact, I'm too comfortably hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but ladies, thank you for being here. If welcome. someone needs to reach out to you, Shirley, how do they do that? They can call me at 631 664 zero three three one or they could email me at s hudson at gmail.com awesome hey, patita caliente how could they get a hold of you my phone number is five one six eight one nine two six seven six 
uh, my email is Delgado919 at yahoo.com. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much, ladies. And if you don't believe it's Patitas Caliente, <laughs> go on social media. She's everywhere. I, you think I'm everywhere? She's three times more. <laughs> But this was a great, great show. Thank you, Likewise. ladies, for thank being you here. For having and, us. Thank and the you rest much. of the ladies that joined us earlier, thank you so much. Jamie. What a great show. Absolutely. What great ladies. Sisterhood. Yeah. Absolutely. Entrepreneurship. Empowering. And you could just feel the love in the room. Yeah. So yeah. Thank, thank you for you, tuning yes. in. We will catch you next, next week, week where we're going to have some amazing guests as well. So please don't forget to follow us on social media and to download that Latino Mix app. See you soon. See you soon.